What is up YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench and today we're going to talk about why the phrase buy once, cry once is a bunch of bullshit. There's a phrase that you commonly hear around YouTube in the tool community, even the maker community I've been hearing it now, and that is buy once, cry once. And this is referring to the tools, the equipment that you buy. It's saying that if you go out and buy the best, just go ahead, spend that money, even though it's gonna cost you more and it's gonna hurt to buy at that time, you only have to buy it once. And so you only take the hit one time, it hurts, but you should have a tool for a lifetime. And I get it. I agree that you will save more money by buying the best you can get rather than buying a cheap tool multiple times over a lifetime. 100% correct, you will. But wait, there's more. I disagree with the phrase for many other reasons other than its core concept. My first point I wanna make is not every tool you need needs to be the best. It, it all depends on what you do. I mean, if you're a mechanic, you're probably gonna want really good ratchets and sockets. If you're uh, an electrician, you're probably gonna want really nice screwdrivers. A plumber, you're gonna want really nice pipe wrenches. Also, if you're doing this professionally or just tinkering at home, it makes a huge difference. You know, because when I was an electrician, I used a heat gun quite a bit at work. But does that mean I need to come buy a $150 heat gun to have here at home? Hell no, I get away with using that little $10 Drill Master heat gun that I reviewed about a year ago, still going strong, and I use it probably five times a year maybe. So that's one of my biggest things is you don't always have to buy the best. You don't always need the best quality. It all depends on what you do. The amount you're gonna use a tool directly correlates to the quality you need to buy. So if you're only gonna use a tool a handful of times a year, don't go out and get the best of the best. Get something that's gonna get the job done. And I guess I should have prefaced before I even started by saying if you do have the cash and you wanna spend it getting the best of the best, getting snap on everything or SK everything or Fez tool this, and go for it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, with treating yourself, especially if you're somebody that likes tools. But I want people to understand you don't have to do that. You don't need the best of the best for everything. If you want it, go for it. I'm not trying to judge you. You've heard me say it before. You're a grown man. If you work for your money like I do, I'm not gonna tell you what to do with it. This is just to give people another viewpoint. That way they don't get caught up always thinking that they have to have the best of the best. But there's a few other points I wanna make. The thing that really kills me is when I hear makers or woodworkers or metal workers use that phrase, buy once, cry once. I can't stand it because on the other hand, they'll also say, get out and start woodworking today. But you need a, a, a thousand dollar table saw to do it? Oh, hell no! You don't need a thousand dollar table saw to do it. Especially if you're just getting into a hobby. Big prime example of this is myself. I've seen wood turners. I was curious about it. But honestly, I didn't think I was going to like it. But it... it it stuck with me in my head long enough that I wanted to try it. and But I didn't want to invest a bunch of money. I mean, wood lathes are expensive. I mean, So, instead of going out and buying a $700 mini lathe, because around five to $700 is about your average cost for a quality mini lathe, you know, a reputable brand, to risk $700 on something I don't even know if I'm gonna like, no, I'm definitely not gonna do that. But I went out and bought a little $200 Harbor Freight mini lathe, cheap Harbor Freight tools, and I love it. They're great to learn on, and it's easy to upgrade as I go. By saying buy once, cry once, it can really hinder a person into getting started, into getting into woodworking, becoming a mechanic, metalworking, blacksmithing. There's no need to have the absolute best to start out. Go in there, see if you like what you're doing then upgrade as you can. So upgrading as you can also correlates to my advice to people or kids, young adults, 
getting into the trades. So the last thing I want to see is a kid that's getting into the trades, not even sure if he's going to stay in that trade, go out and get himself into debt buying the best of the best tools. I think that if you're doing it professionally, you do need at least mid quality tools, but you can get away with the cheap ones for a little while. Go to Harbor Freight with somebody that's in the trade or knows the trade and just buy all your tools there. Buy all your tools at Harbor Freight. And then on your first paycheck, go and upgrade the tool that you use the most that first two weeks. Get a better version of that. Then on the next check, you upgrade the next thing you can. And it doesn't even have to be every check, when you can afford it. You know, get tools that'll get the job done, and then you get better tools that make the job easier, faster, or better as you can afford them. When you're upgrading, that's the point you wanna buy the best you can afford. You wanna buy the best of the best. That way you don't have to buy it again. And you still have your cheap tools as backup if you got the money, go out and spend the money as you see fit. I'm, just don't get in trouble for a job that you don't even know if you're going to like it is my main thing. And don't let expensive tools, I mean you see all the major woodworkers on, on YouTube using saw stops. Don't think you have to have a saw stop. People have been using table saws without riving knives, without safety equipment for many years. The reason you see saw stops in a lot of the major woodworker videos is because saw stop gives it to them because they want it to seem normal for people to have them and they want you to think you need that to do quality work and you don't it really reminds me of when i used to play guitar i had this cheap ibanez i got for like 50 bucks at a pawn shop and i could play a few chords but it just didn't sound as good as when my buddy that was teaching me those chords it didn't sound as good as when he played so i thought man it must be the guitar i'm doing the same chords he is I've just got to save up and get a better guitar. Until one night he just took my guitar from me, he's playing it, and it sounds amazing. So it's not that you have to have the best of the best, you have to have the skills. So honest to God, I've rambled so much at this point, I can't even remember if I got all the points I wanted to get across across. I'm sure as hell hoping I did, and I hope you enjoyed it along the way. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving, because I know this is gonna come out after this, and I hope everybody has a great Christmas or Kwanzaa, or whatever the hell you celebrate. I don't care. Definitely let me know if there's any other topics you'd like me to discuss. I hope you're enjoying the vlog series so far. And if you are, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there. I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace. All right, so before we get into the topic, I just wanna say hi, hello there. How are you? So remember the uh, cuts all video I did to start woodworking today? This was the unfinished piece and I told you it was gonna be pretty damn spectacular. I like it at least. Actual maker equipment i guess you could call it bench top heavy machine not heavy machinery i don't know what the fuck i'm saying next point can't talk today just get the words out words out just start writing a script or something just don't get crazy man especially if you're just getting into the trade because you don't know if you're gonna like it i mean look at junk from work he's been a mechanic for like a year and he already knows he hates it <laughs> And I'm off topic again! Fuck! Fuck me! Jesus! Fuck, I'm off topic again. I'm supposed to be ending this video now. This is gonna be a fucking hour long video. But anyway, I just need to fucking end it. They've already heard all that shit, okay? Just end it! Okay, we're gonna end this video now. Man, I had a really hard time getting this one out for some reason. I had a few notes, just the, the basic three reasons. Uh, and I just can't talk today. I've got a lot of other shit to do. That's what smells like it's fucking burning. The damn hot glue gun. Fuck it, good enough. I said stop!